Let's turn from there to our other focus today. A shocking video emerging from Sitapur in Uttar Pradesh. A Mahant openly issuing rape threats to Muslim women as a crowd cheered. The police officers watching the whole thing unfold as mute spectators. After six days of outrage, the police has finally filed an FIR, but the Mahant has now reportedly gone underground. Here's more. A saint issues rape threats to Muslim women in full public glare. Mahant Bajrang Muni of Sitapur made the shameful remarks on April 2nd. In the presence of cheerleaders, in the presence of UP police personnel. The video became viral within hours, sparking massive outrage. But it took six days for the police to file an FIR. An investigation has been ordered finally. The National Commission for Women has stepped in, seeking stern action by the police. I had tagged on Twitter in and मैंने आते ही इसको कॉग्निजेंस में लिया हमने डीजीपी को लिखा है कि इमीडिएटली इस पे एक्शन ले तो ऐसे लोगों को अरेस्ट करना जरूरी है और इनको एक एग्जांपल बनाना जरूरी है क्योंकि ये समाज में गंदगी फैला रहे हैं और अपने सो कॉल्ड गॉडमैन होने का फायदा उठा रहे हैं फेसिंग एंग्री रिएक्शंस द सीयर हैज कम अप विद अ क्लेरिफिकेशन जब आप हमारी पूरी वीडियो देखेंगे तो आपकी असलिता पता चलेगी क्योंकि ये तोड़ मरोड़ के छोटी मोटी वीडियो प्रस्तुत की जा रही है जिसे मुझे बदनाम करने के लिए या मुझे फंसाने की एक कोशिश की जा रही है जब इसका पूरा वीडियो देखा जाए तब आपको पूरी असलियत पता चलेगी मुस्लिम कम्युनिटी लीडर्स हैव अर्जड द योगी आदित्यनाथ गवर्नमेंट टू पनिश द गिल्टी ये जो मुनीर दास जी जो बाबा हैं जिन्होंने मुसलमान औरतों को लेकर भड़काव भाषण दिया है और औरतों को कहा है कि इनको घर से निकाल कर खुद भी बलात्कार करेंगे और भीड़ को उकसाने का काम किया है तो हम माननीय श्री मुख्यमंत्री योगी आदित्यनाथ जी से अपील करेंगे कि इसके खिलाफ जो है सख्त से सख्त कानूनी कार्रवाई होनी चाहिए कांग्रेस हैज रेज द इशू ऑफ वीमेन सेफ्टी अंडर द बीजेपी गवर्नमेंट इन उत्तर प्रदेश नई कोई बात है योगी आदित्यनाथ के नेतृत्व में यही चल रहा है आप लखीमपुर से लेकर वो जो छोटी बालिका के साथ हुआ मैं नाम नहीं लेना चाह रही हूँ ये तो होते रहता है हर रोज एक आंकड़े बढ़ते रहता है औरत की जिंदगी यही है विमेन सेफ्टी एंड लॉ एंड ऑर्डर वेर लिस्टेड एज बिग अचीवमेंट्स ऑफ द योगी आदित्यनाथ गवर्नमेंट इन द स्टेट इलेक्शन द रेप थ्रेट्स बाय द सिया and delayed action by the police have ended up embarrassing the ruling party bureau report india today so why does the police not act in these hate speech cases swiftly enough ranjana kumari director uh, cpr joins me and al banerji former up dgp is also with us uh, ranjana kumari your first reactions do you believe this is part of a pattern where you will have people who will make these threats because they believe they can get away there seems to be an impunity with which they believe they can speak in this manner and get away well you are absolutely right rajdeep because uh, the police personnel were there he was clearly making a statement to incite the crowd and also it is under the sexual assault law it's a, it's a punishable offense that the man's statement itself uh, he should have been arrested <laughs> but they did not act the problem is here the state support to such people mm -hmm. because you know these people are filth they fill their mind is full of filth mm -hmm. they are absolutely just by wearing saffron you don't become muni you don't become mahatma you don't become you know so that's that's something you know they and also this kind of a patriarch 
uh, patriarchal bigot mm. should be definitely arrested immediately otherwise what what is the message message But, is to create rape culture in the state there has been enough cases of gruesome rape in the state i think this, the, the government should learn a lesson that unless such people are put behind the bars and severely punished mm -hmm. and also you know look at the way all the, But the, the yogi adityanath government claims that rape cases have gone down in uttar pradesh they say that they have acted firmly on law and order they go, they go by the data which they provided to the ncrb well if you don't record the data you can say that you can very easily you know you can always bring them down you can always bring them up depending on which state you are looking at but uh, you know and also they are not recording the data carefully you know do you think every rape that is happening in the village is getting recorded is our people even reporting those rapes let me so let, it's, it's, let me take the points you are raising to mr banerji mr banerji in the first instance the police took 6 days to register the fir that too after there has been outrage after the video has gone viral while the speech is going on the police is watching by doesn't do anything about it thereby sends the message that they have a license to speak in this manner now these are influential mahans and munis who claim to be close to the establishment is the police unwilling to act against such people it's a shame rajdeep it's a shame that the man is in a vehicle is in saffron calls himself a mahant is leading a procession during navratra during the navratras when we pray to the child goddess and passing next to a mosque he is clearly very very clearly elucidating what will happen now if this is not if this is this is not taken into consideration right now something else is going to happen there will be repercussions there will be further action so the first thing should be and the funniest thing is mm. that the case has been filed after 6 days what was the local police doing for 6 days have no, the local police obviously <laughs> thought that the mahant is a man of influence was, i mean the fact is at the end of the day this is the problem with uttar pradesh that there is a section today who believe that they have been empowered to speak in this manner section 298 Mr Banerjee says whoever with the deliberate intention of wounding the religious feelings of any person utters any word or makes any sound in the hearing of that person makes any gesture in the sight of that person any object in the sight of that person shall be punished with imprisonment the law is very clear yes it is in fact the man should be as fast as possible picked up under the UAPA the FIR should be fast tracked for investigative purposes and i think in the, mm -hmm. the next 3 months a trial can take place in a fast track court this man should not remain outside that number one number two mm -hmm. there has to be an apportioning of blame mm -hmm. what were the policemen who were right next to this person mm -hmm. what were the intelligence people who were right next to this people and what about the rest of the crowd or no, forget the rest of the crowd the police uh sp police additional sp etc who were there sh should have done with it because every no you tell me sir you tell me you yeah. tell me who has to give the order the constable gets his orders from someone higher up until the they, they will act if they are told that they have to act in such cases this is not the first instance no constable is ever told not to uh, take action during any danger or any such in incident however the uh the the person person who is in charge of a police station he should have taken complete charge and written a fir or whoever was the senior most because whenever whenever police gives a permission for any kind of permission any kind of uh, procession to be taken out they initially go to that place see whether it has happened see what is the history of it see if there has been a violence before that everything is taken care of it is very well laid out sir we have But seen we have But seen me, that uh, we have can... seen these people get away we've seen with yati and uh, nursing that's anand that's also that's in that's in, that's in that's delhi that's the kind of provocative slogans that are being put out now there will be those who will say that there are muslims clerics also and that is also true who at times make extremely yeah. hateful yeah. inflammatory speeches let's be very clear whether you are a muslim cleric or a hindu man you make speeches like this you should be behind bars both of you in the same cell and throw away the keys but ranjana kumari do you think that there is a pushback from that we need to see a greater pushback from civil society 
Yes, I think Rajdeep, uh, this time civil society acted. There was so much of social media posting, not only till here. It went to Human Rights Commission. It went to UN uh, uh, Women, uh, so many bodies, the NCW. They all were tagged and finally, of course, the action, uh, UP police had to act. After UP six government days. Had, had to act. You know, after six days. And the unfortunate part is till date, he's not even arrested. He is hiding somewhere and somehow you people is when such cases happen, they just cannot find the culprit. And that's something which is also puts it's mind boggling that, you mm -hmm. know, for six days you wait to file a FIR and every time women are being targeted, whether it is minority community and whether minority community, so all these kind of people speaking about other women. So why women and why rape women? What are you doing to this country and what kind of a respect and prestige and what kind of a life women should expect? Young people, uh, young women should expect in this country what? that, you know, every time it has to be a threat that you, uh, we will rape your women, we will rape your women. Well, we've what seen, we've this, seen, this ma'am, you, you're absolutely, yeah. we've seen what's happened with the bully by uh, those who created yes. this website where they uh, uh, named Auction. Muslim women whom they said should be targeted, created these uh, uh, apps and they have also got out on bail because allegedly they're too young. The fact is you're going to have to throw the law book at the right. Such a person does not deserve to be called a mahant in the first place. And people like this must be put behind bars and made an example of if we are to restore some sense of sanity in society and give confidence to people and women in particular. Ranjana Kumari, Mr. Banerjee, I appreciate your joining us on the news today.